a name that stands for seven decades of sincerity and dedication, a face that is remembered as Pugli in the play Pugli, as the black woman in Africa Javan Pareshan, as Amma in Garam Hava, as Ranja's Bhabi in Heer Ranja, as the glamorous Khanam Jan in Umrao Jan, as Chuya Begum in Anjuman, as the Madam of the Brothel in Salam Bombay, and many more. She played characters ranging from the meekest to the vilest. She showed the world glimpses of the reality of a woman's life. Being a social activist, she witnessed at very close quarters the pain and agony about women's lives in India. Born to a well-to-do progressive family in Hyderabad, Shohat Khanum met Kefi Azmi at a Mushera, where he had come to recite his poems. It was love at first sight, but it faced much opposition. Kefi Azmi, a poet and a Communist Party cardholder, was certainly not the suitable boy for Shohat Khanum. But Shohat believed in her passion and her choices. Their exchanges through letters only grew stronger, and Kefi Azmi even wrote her a letter in his own blood. Her father supported their decision to marry, despite opposition from his own family. This happily ever after love story began in an Andheri commune on May 23, 1947, and became complete with the arrival of Shabana and Baba Azmi. Shohat Kefi embraced the communist philosophy. They were united not only by love and marriage, but also by a joint commitment to personal and political ethics, social change and artistic creativity. Her commitment to social change made her march alongside her husband to bring about development and upliftment of women and children in Mijwa, their ancestral village in Azamgarh. The Indian People's Theatre Association, IPTA, was taking root in this commune. Shohat Kefi had always been attracted to theatre. And when she saw Prithviraj Kapoor's play Pathan, she was determined to work with him. Thus began her theatrical journey through Prithvi Theatre, playing various characters in plays like Divar, Ahuti, Africa Jawan Pareshan, Nokrani Ki Talash and Pagli. With Ipta, Shohat Kefi acted in one of her most beautiful films, Garam Hava, in 1974, directed by M.S. Satyu. After this, there was no looking back. Her memoirs, Yad Ki Rehuzar, was translated into Marathi, Hindi, Gujarati, Japanese and in English as Kefi and I. Javed Akhtar adapted it into a play, Kefi or Meh. And this memoir has been accepted as the distinctly female voice in the South Asian departments of 14 universities in the US. She is the face of the Indian woman in her real life and an ideal Indian woman in her real life. She has lived life the way every individual should, every largely should, with freedom and equality.